Then you do it, Dre. I've already done it. Yeah. See, did you do it so it does the welcome baby? opinionated family? What's up to another episode of Painated Podcast? This episode today is like behind the scenes talk what it goes through to be a fucking podcast. And this whole <laughs> we didn't have like 60 on air conversations, off air conversations about everything about my personal life, which we're never getting into right now on air. But it was oh, funny shit. off air. But we're gonna tell you what it goes into making a fucking podcast and the struggles and everything like this. We've been going at it for what I say about a good five years now going strong every day releasing five. yeah about five Four recording change but yeah. yeah recording every sunday and everything <coughs> like that <coughs> and we done switched it up how many times we switched this podcast up a few maybe maybe, maybe five just 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 topic wise like 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 right now i'm who's muted oh he's muted um i'm muted so nah some you see this is this is this is the shit y'all don't see like, this is all the kinks and bugs we got to work out before we even get recording. But what goes into making a podcast? We first started this podcast. We first started recording this shit. Like, we recorded on a phone or an app called Anchor. At the time, it was free. We were in my apartment, and we sat the phone on top of a... A table. There wasn't even a table, bro. It was a, it was a, it was a bin for, like, clothes or shit you put <laughs> away. Flipped it over. Remember the blue bin? Yeah, we just sat, we sat around the blue bin. And then when we had our first guest, which was Mar, we, got we had a table for that one. But you remember how the podcast started off? Like, we first started off, we were talking about mixtapes and music. And I think that's what we talk about every week was, like, a what mixtape and what music dropped. Like, we didn't... We had no direction for the podcast. Like, no. really, what goes a long way in making a podcast. You want to start off with... You want to start off with some type of direction... <laughs> And stick with that direction for the life of your podcast. We started off talking about music. And then, like Kev said, your boy Mar came over. And we did uh, a real episode, which was funny, which was Sex Island, which was shit just blew. It just went crazy. And we thought, like, like oh, shit, we got something. Let's talk crazily about sexual topics. Look at me, though. Make it explicit that we can. People will tune in and listen. Hey, yep. I know. <clears throat> I'm looking at you. I'm sorry. My camera's right in front of my face. I That's know. another thing. What y'all don't know, don't what y'all don't know behind the scene is a TV right here that I can see Dre on. That's because Dre's ass all the way in Florida now. Yeah, because he's in Florida. This is my camera. You know what I'm saying? So, this is me. <laughs> yo, yo. Exactly. He's so discombobulated. <laughs> it's crazy. He said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Am I wrong? Yes. <laughs> I'm not wrong, yes, but I'm just thinking English. about like thinking about how we started to fuck up. Like our first, like we did that. We was recording on the phone. Our first time recording video was my cell phone propped up on the couch, <laughs> angled right, and we were supposed to record it so we could put this shit on YouTube. You remember that? We started with the bare minimum of nothing. When I say the bare minimum of nothing. It was three chairs, a fucking bin. No, nah, let it bark. That's and a, what, and a phone the podcast. And we worked off of Anchor, and our sound was terrible. Audio was was completely horrible. We had no visuals. Um, and then we slowly started to upgrade. But you when know, when I say slowly, we really slowly started to upgrade. But we, everything from the mud. But the thing about the first mics we got, we didn't really do no homework. All we seen was some cheap ass mics that we thought we could plug up to the fucking uh, the USB mics. You remember it was just the purple joints? Yeah, mm -hmm. those just was com they was completely obsolete. We never used the mics one time to record anything. No, we did. It just didn't work. I right. say it just didn't sound good. Yeah. No, 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 no. It, it didn't work right. So um, on the audio side, hello, because that's my supposed to be my specialty. I was not aware, and we're gonna get to like other shit too. But I was not aware that. Um, the dynamic mics and the um, and the condenser mics were not necessarily different, but you get a different sound and they were used for different things. I never went to school for audio engineering or none of that. So when we recorded, I felt like, OK, if the environment is quiet enough, then we should be able to record on these mics. So what was happening was two things. I recorded in with Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops doesn't necessarily recognize a bunch of USB mics together. Oh. Also, we would be recording and Fruit Loops would just shut off and you wouldn't know. <laughs> Yo, yeah, you remember that shit? Times, there's been times where 
where we've done uh, an hour and a half show. Back then, we were doing two hour shows, two yeah, to two and a half hour shows. <coughs> we do a two hour show, thirty minutes recorded. Oh yeah, I remember that. Sounds time. like that. Like you were like, yo, what the? We fuck? have lost tapes. We're we're like we're like the Nas of the podcast industry. We just got lost lost what episodes. We would back it up though because we would go also go live, and that's when we started getting smarter. We would go live. So what I would do is I would actually take whatever we had, even though it was like recorded, you know, semi correctly, and then take the audio from Facebook from the live, which means I would literally sit my phone, let it play for an hour and a half, and go do some other shit while it recorded in, and then I would smash the two together at the right spot, like Bill Cosby. Podcast was born. So yeah, audio we, y'all, y'all went, but y'all, but y'all went too far though. Your intercourse. <laughs> yeah, it was. Y'all went too far. But remember, yo, we first started off at Anchor, and a lot of people didn't realize at the time at Anchor, when you like say if you want to start a podcast, like it's this thing called the RSS feed. That shit is your podcast. That's where you can you take that and you can give that to. This is game. So if you're trying to start a podcast, pay attention. You have this RSS feed where you can submit it to other places like Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Google Play at the time. Now, I think YouTube got a YouTube podcast. Um, uh, 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 radio, uh, what the fuck is it called? It's a lot of them. Um, That's okay. I Heart Radio. These are, oh, but you can take that. But on on at the time, Anchor wasn't letting you be in control of that shit. So when I would try to take it to submit it to other places, we didn't have control of that shit. Like you had to go through Anchor for Anchor, and they would submit it. And then hopefully a podcast, you had to meet the right criteria, and they wouldn't tell you what the shit was. And you like, yo, why am I still not on fucking Spotify yet, or why I'm not here yet? Mm-hmm. And it was just like chaos. So we have a whole like I think a few like ten episodes that we never release to Spotify now that is still on. On Anchor. On Anchor that's just never crossed over. I think the only one we took from Anchor to here was uh, Sex Island because we're like, yo, this is the only one that was, you know, popping at yeah. the time. The other shit sounded horrible. Like, it was just, it was oh. terrible. They all like. We also used to put music, excuse me, not we. I used to put music in the background because I thought that was the way podcasts were supposed to be done. <laughs> so I would literally put music in the background of every podcast. So that shit was I, terrible. It was terrible. So when it came time to port some music over and download it, or port the podcast over and download it, couldn't do it. Couldn't do no. it. Yeah, we were not terrible. That shit. that shit was corny, dog. I think <laughs> you thought. Look at the time, it was dope. Look, don't, look, no, look, at look, the time, look. Like yo, you know. at the time it was dope. Yeah. I went back. To, yeah, it was cool at the time when I listened back to that shit. Now I went back and listened to one of them episodes. I'm like, yo, what the fuck are we doing? Reading the fucking book over this bitch or some shit like this? This is story time with Kevin Dre. Dre Kev, Kevin Dre. Yo, that's well, what it you, sounded like. It like story time. Very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable for, for <laughs> some first time guys. Very uncomfortable. You were the most uncomfortable. I'm kidding. I have oh, no me? idea. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> no, no, no. We're so far past so that now. We, we, so, you know. Yeah. So we go from there, and then we go to where we at right now. Still, is currently in my basement, which has got revamped about a thousand trillion billion gajillion times. Maybe we, four. We got here, and then we bought we bought the uh, <laughs> four times. We bought the remember we bought the drum mics, and then we start get then we start fucking with going like he said going live. And a lot of people would see us on the live. Our lives used to go crazy sometimes. We had some episodes that we just. We was interacting with the people on the lives and shit like that. I'm, I'm one of the people missed that shit. They, I never really heard anybody say, you know, they missed that going interacting uh, back and forth with us. But I remember that was a thing. Like motherfuckers would wait till Sunday to jump on. They see us on here talking. Everybody come on there. Everybody was able to spew their little opinion and shit like that. And we was recording with my phone. We was going live with my, my phone at the time, which was a good phone, which I thought. <laughs> oh man, androids are ass. And there, yes, and there's so many things that go into podcasting, and maybe I'm jumping forward a little bit. Um, but. it's coming up with the iteration of your podcast that makes you the most happy and the most, um, you know, the, the, the most productive. 
that's another thing that we had to do. We had to really go through some shit to figure out, hey, what can we talk about a lot that we all care about that, you know, sends the right message or, you know what I mean? So it's a lot of things you have to do to really get your shit on track to know what works and what works for your group of hosts. Yeah, that's what we're going through right now. Like, we're trying to figure out right now, like, what's more important the fucking the audio or the video. People think every I like motherfuckers used to come up to me like, I you ain't trying to figure you are trying to figure. (laughs) Dre's not trying to figure shit out no more. And I'm gonna tell you why Dre's not gonna figure this shit out. And tell me if I'm wrong. Dre's been trying to get us to fucking move on this podcast and do certain shit. And he would come and he would tell us we had to do X, Y, Z. And we do it for a week and fall off while he's still going 120 percent at that shit. This nigga is now at the point where he's like, "Yo, man, fuck this shit. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas want to figure it out. Y'all got to figure it out, you, nigga. That's where you at." I'm about to say that right there, that last part. Yeah, I ain't gonna say fuck this shit, but yeah, I ain't got, I ain't sugar, I ain't sugarcoating the shit. Ain't no need to sugarcoat the shit. It was like, you know what? He's right. Like the niggas, he's he's been like a big major part, like. And doing a lot of shit. He's fucked with the social media. Uh-huh. Like, you know how to edit, like audio edit this shit. Like, I don't know how to do that shit. I can, I can, I don't even know how to do the video shit too much. Kev do. All I know how to fucking do is I know how to put the shit. Get people I know how to... <laughs> and fuck you. <laughs> I was gonna let that, I was gonna oh, let sorry. that shit slide. I was gonna let that shit slide, but that nigga can <laughs> felt that. <laughs> right here. He felt that shit. That shit pierced his armor like a motherfucker, boy. All I know how to do is get bitches pregnant. Uh, fuck this nigga, man. So <laughs> my, my, my job of the fucking podcast, these fucking assholes, my job is basically try to find new platforms to submit us to, um, put the audio up, Basically, know how to you rent. bring edgy topics. That's, topics that's that's a big but I thing also for us. like I also know how to like like if I need to get our podcast in different eardrums and shit like that or different submitters to different platforms like I'm up on that shit. If some of the platforms offering us something new that we can use, there's that's a new tool. I gotta know about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to I gotta know everything and shit. Like I used to fuck with the videos, but that shit is Dre real shit. That shit was mad annoying. Like clipping that video up, like yes, and piecing it all together. It's just fucking mad annoying. Like if I had money to pay somebody to do, I would do it like here. Fucking do this. That's the point we're you trying have, to get to now. I'm about to say you have space. You have you have more money to be able to do that than you think you do. But go ahead. Like I, I like it's more doable than you think. But go ahead. No, I'm just saying that's uh, it. Kind of it kind of like. Like, I understand where you at with the situation. Because it's like, today, like, real shit, I was going to come on this motherfucker on our meeting and ask niggas, like, yo, niggas still really fucking with this shit? Like, do, like, am I cutting in the shit that y'all trying to do? Like, I know you and Kev trying to start a business and shit. Like, and Kev got a, you know, he's still fresh in the relationship. He ain't been in as, as many years as me and you have. So it was like, yo, he still got somebody at home. I'm pretty sure she, like, she wish she was home on Sundays. I already asked y'all that shit today. I was like, my, yeah, my that's wife what is out having having a girls weekend. She's the last thing I'm not the last person she thinks about because she'll text me and mm. ask me if I miss her because you know mm. that's that's the type of funny woman she is. But she's out having the time of her life on Sundays. She likes to they call Sunday fun day, and that doesn't involve you're me, not which there. I'm cool with. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. why like Sunday fun day. He's gone. Let's go have a good time though. She like they like to bar hop and shit like that. You know, enjoy her last Sunday. She's been doing that shit for years. So that's why so. I was. I, that's why I was gonna ask y'all today. I was really like, like, yo, what the fuck? Like, I like, I know Dre's like visibly frustrated with the shit. He just want to produce. I don't know where Kev's at with the shit. I'm like, yeah, I do the podcast because I just love it. I just love doing the shit. We you know all love saying? doing the podcast. Number one, it's it's a it's a form of therapy. I feel like for us being able to get out some of the stuff that's in our brain and our heart. Um, some of the shit that we've talked about on here, we haven't talked with other people in regular life with. So I feel like it, it kind of opens us up more. Uh, we're comfortable with each other because we've been talking to each other for decades. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? The kinship between us 
it, we don't have that with anyone else for the most part, um, with the exception of like actual family members. <clears throat> and I feel like this is something that we could see ourselves doing for a long period of time comfortably and bringing something to the table. And me and Dre was talking about last night how we need to get our businesses situated so we can have something to help boost this, what we can bring to the table. That's basically what our conversations were about last night. So um, when it comes to the podcast, the frustrations are, I would say, just us being stagnant on where we at. We're just, mm -hmm. even though we want more, we're just content with what we have. We see something, but we don't reach for it, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? And that's what that's that's what we're trying to uh, get away from now. Try to help build and get us over that hump and see what we can do to, first of all, make our visual aesthetics way better than what they are now. And to see how we can get in the ballpark of bringing some more valuable information to the people that we're trying to, to the people's attention that we have and the people that we're trying to get attentions of. And right. It's it's I mean it's not easy because we're three we're three fucking guys from Jersey and Philly who no, no. are just three regular guys just willing to talk about shit that they've gone through um and how our culture has been affected and our lifestyles have been affected just because of who we are, skin color, what we what what we had to deal with and what we continue to deal with. And hopefully we use that knowledge of our own to help with the younger crowd or elite or even assimilate with those who walk the same life as us so they can know, you know, I'm not the only one that this happened to. They hear this shit and be like, oh, shit, you too? I mean, I don't know about y'all, but when I go through something, I hear somebody else go through the same shit I went through. It kind of yeah. alleviates how I feel about the scenario because I know if this person did it and got through it, I can do it too. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's why we don't. I guess that's why we don't, we don't look like. Hey, man, I'm not listening to three niggas who got a podcast in the fucking basement with a cheap LED light in the background. <laughs> I mean, I'm it just like, joking. I mean, in all honesty, it looked like y'all jail cell is jumping right now. Yeah, jail, our population. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, our cell yeah. is popping today, dog. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Warden let us get the mics and shit. So we we you know our, our cells popping today. But um it he calls his wife the warden. <laughs> yeah, she is the warden. She came down here spazzing yeah. on some spazzing on some shit she knew hey, that she already fucking knew about. She came out the dark like Batman. <laughs> we not gonna talk about it. We just can't talk about it. Well we did yeah, like, oh shit. <laughs> Definitely not gonna say but that. But nah, I mean you got a man. Is little Caesar pizza better than Wild Wild Pizza? What the fuck? Charles, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I I've seen why I got that new pizza. I tell, you, I tell you right now, duck. I Niggas like, man, shut the fuck up. What's up lie. with pizza? That, that pizza look good. I'm I don't want to talk lie. about it. I want to talk about your back. Y'all want to talk boy, about it. Clarence you. Patterson had posted. He, he's, he, I think he's like a, a big man. Uh, one of the big, big wigs at um, Wawa. <laughs> and he posted up the pizza, and I'm not going. Oh lie, that pizza looked good. Not it's either. like it looked like a, I'm not eat a burger from Wawa. Man, or you don't pizza. eat Chuck E. Cheese pizza. It's Chuck E. Cheese, nigga. It looks Chuck like Chuck E. Cheese, Chuck e. cheese had, pizza. Chuck E. Cheese been had pizza, my nigga. It looks like Chuck. E. Remember Wawa had pizza before when we was younger? When they what? had that small Wawa on the corner of of Manor Hall. Nigga, Seven Eleven had pizza, had pizza back then. I don't know why we get those shopping. It out. I'm just Charles, saying. you fucked the whole topic you up. You did this, Charles. <laughs> Damn, Damn this hungry ass nigga. You know you go tell him pizza. Yo, shout out to Happy Birthday tokens though. Yeah, word, word, word. Up, word. but yo, word. man, like, see, that's the shit we miss, man. That's the shit we go miss going live, man. Like that right there, like, you know, we haven't been live in a long. But Kev, do you like? Do you like when people see you out, and because we were live, they might be like, "Yo, I saw y'all on set." Like, do you do you miss that? Yeah, I kind of missed that shit. Like, I, I know they didn't. That shit didn't translate to plays. That was another. That shit did not translate to anything that fucking mattered other than y'all see me on this bitch on Sunday. It ain't translate to anything else. 
I'm like, y'all watch podcast? Yeah, I watch podcasts on Facebook. I'm like, yeah. Let's Facebook go give me a fucking deal for this podcast or some shit like that. I need y'all to play, hit that play button on uh, Spotify or something. Boost these other numbers somewhere else. I'll tell you one thing that made me happy. I was on the Xbox, and, uh, you know, you gain friends on Xbox that you just don't know. You start playing the game with a motherfucker, y'all end up becoming friends, whatever the case may be. So <clears throat> my homie, <clears throat> he's from, like, upstate new york i want to say like around buffalo or close to buffalo maybe syracuse some shit like that and we were playing him me my brother my boy gilly shout out to shout out to gilly uh and i was just telling him like yeah i got it out tomorrow you know i got the podcast so i ain't gonna be on till like late probably and then my boy was like oh shit i didn't know you had a podcast mind you we've been playing together for at least a year or so and i'm like yeah i could have swore i told you this before he was like, nah, send me the info, da da da. Or, and he was like, I'll look it up right now. So I told him what it was. He found it, whatever the case may be. Weeks later, we playing and shit like that. And I was just telling him something, you know, that happened with me before. And he was like, and he finished my sentence as I was talking about it. And he was like, I remember you was talking about that on the podcast. And I was like, oh shit, now that's fire to actually listen to this stalker. shit and know the story. And now you finish it. That's not hey, a yo, stalker. That's, that's, that's see, look, that's look, that's see? you. That's the ad, that's the <laughs> fucked up <laughs> attitude you got to fuck at. Yeah, I'm pointing at joke. you. I'm not I'm looking at my camera. Joking. I'm joking. Don't joke like that, man. That that's a dedicated. I, 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 a, don't joke like that, nah, man. Don't joke like that, motherfucker. Actually, yo, not even pointing at you, though. Nah, <laughs> pointing at, point at you, nigga. Actually, like to have a nigga really seriously listen to your shit and make that makes the fucking world like, come on, man. I, know, I mean, that shit yeah. not for nothing, yo. That shit threw me off. Like, I'm I'm like, what? How the fuck you know? Nah, you was talking about on the podcast on that one episode. I was listening. I remember you said that shit. And I was like, that's crazy, yo. Uh, you heard that shit on the podcast? And fucking remembered it. I mean, half the movies I watch is a lot of shit I just don't remember unless it's a pivotal fucking scene. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and for him to, to, to say that shit was like, yo, that lets me know that it can be done, period, as long as we can get the ear of someone to actually listen. It's relatable. And, that, and that's the, I think that's the point. That, that's what we struggle at, like, Real shit. Like another reason we don't go, we we stop the lives is like, yo, nothing against people that jump on the live is like, y'all not willing to share share this shit or or even fuck with this shit on a heavy on a heavy note because it's like y'all y'all it's real. Everybody got skepticism. I think <laughs> this is a joke, but it's, you know what I mean. But it's real. Like I think the mixtape era when niggas was all rappers and handed out them <laughs> albums, <laughs> fuck everybody, no shit up to give somebody a chance on shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're like, oh my gosh, it's, this is the third wax CD I listened to from this nigga. Like, why are you handing me this shit? But all jokes aside, like your sure. biggest supporters, your biggest supporter comes from people who don't know you. Like, it's cool. So, so let me ask, let me ask two questions. All right, and uh, and this is for people who. They might want to do this, you know what I'm saying? If two two questions, okay? So I asked one and I asked the next, and then y'all can answer them both if y'all want. What if somebody just told you, yo, I just don't fuck with y'all. Like, I don't think y'all shit is good. Because there's motherfuckers that'll say, Yeah, I just don't really think y'all are good. I don't think y'all good at this. Number one. Number two is if you were only promised if you were promised zero plays from this. How long would you keep doing it? If God said, "Yeah, it ain't gonna happen, bro. You're gonna get zero plays. Nothing's gonna happen from this." How long would you continue to do this? Now go. If God said it, if God said it, so you know it's true. That, that's what if God that's said what, it. Then, then I would still be in this field. I would just get somebody else to do it. And put them in the shoes that I'm at, and and be the director, producer. You know what I mean? Be the. Remember, I told you yesterday, last night. I like, I want to be the guy, most for the most part, on the outside. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or the, on the inside, and nobody can actually see what I'm actually doing. Yeah. I'm Master. pulling the strings. Yeah, I'm pulling oh, the yo, strings. You, why y'all niggas don't pull my strings? Pause. Whoa, no, I'm, yo. <laughs> Shut the fuck Pause. up, man. Shut the, <laughs> listen, to listen to what I'm about to say. Listen what I'm about to say. Why y'all niggas don't be. <laughs> that's fully I'm that's sorry. fully Mr. Right. Clean. We can't do that, we can't do that shit to Kev no more, bro. He gonna flip out on us. And you the closest to him. 
I'm not, I don't give a fuck about this nigga. Just cuss his push, cuss his motherfucker out, man. I'm about to say I'm about to be a pussy. Oh, for no, that? I pull that shit back. Pussy in New Jersey is a bad term. I, I, said, I, put, I had to pull that shit. That's how mad I got. I was gonna pull this shit the fuck back. That's a bad term. I'm not saying that. You don't even deserve that shit. I know. I'm not I even did. did. That, you see me stop it, right? I said. Put, you don't deserve it. But it was in your heart. That's what counts. It, count. it, it wasn't in my heart. It came. It came. It was in my brain. It made me mad. And I'm like, yo. And I almost said it. I'm like, yo. As I got there, I said, no, he don't deserve that. Nigga, they, they, that's serious. No, but basically. Yeah, you let him live. I got you. No, I didn't let him live. He don't deserve that fucking type of verbal abuse from me. Like, he, that, that, we, y'all said earlier, didn't warrant that shit. Didn't warrant that word. But I'm saying, what I was saying about puppet strings, like, y'all niggas. Like Dre, you're trying to obviously put, play the fucking producer role now. Like you want to be uh, whoever, and Cam want to pull some strings. I, I want to yeah. be in front of Mike and I, no, listen, <laughs> I want to be in front of Mike and talk. I like Yo. I like talking. At least my shit was direct. You hear the way this nigga speaks with me? Listen, I am I am the, the owner and operator of A One Podcasting and Content Creation. That's who I am. So, so won't yeah, you just be. So why don't you just let one y'all just one y'all just one y'all just one y'all just let me fucking run this shit? Let me just get a solo bike and just let me go ahead with dummy with the shit. Y'all oh, just in the background. Oh, I'm also talented. I mean, you ain't fucking talented. But besides, God, damn. <laughs> You got to go. No, no, that's been right, right, taking two right. shots at me. That's been taking two shots at me early, but you are uber talented. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> you, took it, you took two shots at me early. That I was, was a shit bad. Because we, nah. you know, when you do this shit, bro, in all honesty, like from me doing music and doing all that shit, you really got to live in, you got to live in that feeling of, like, that's why I said like that skill. Yo, I'm actually talented too. I feel I am. So I'm going to say that and I'm going to say that's why. Like, I also enjoy doing this type of shit. Y'all always, y'all know, man, like I like, I, I, I ain't going to say I like attention, but I like to yeah. have the fucking focus on me. So yeah, I'm going to get on, I'm going to get on podcasts. I'm going to talk my shit. I'm going to actually, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I have something important to say as well. So I genuinely love it. And I love right. the art form of it. And I love the purity that, that comes with it. If you do it to its core, so yeah, man, I'm always going to, I'm going to want to be on it regardless, mm -hmm. but part of what I'm going to do is I'm going to help other people get to their shit as well. I want to help you express your shit. I want to help you express your shit. So that's my mission is to help other people express themselves and grow their personal personal brands because there's a lot of people out there getting money off their personal brands and being able to change people's lives. So why wouldn't I want to be the one to help somebody get there and and also change my life as well. Change it. It feels good to be able to watch somebody's life change and you have had a hand to help that some way, somehow. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you buy their clothing or you share their shit all the time or you're there when they have events to show support. People remember that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Especially when they come. Bro, look at Francis London and shout out to Francis London from. Came from the bottom, Chisel Hurst. I was there when when he was selling shit out of the auction, out of the Berlin Farmers Market, setting up tables, sitting outside, whether it was hot or cold, selling hats, selling shirts, making them shits. And this was, bro, over a decade ago. You know what I'm saying? He's been doing this shit for a long, long time, long dedication. To now, he sells duffel bags for two grand. You know what I'm saying? Like. That is that he's been on ABC. You know, what I mean, he's been uh, featured in magazines, going to to shows and stuff, and he really doing his thing, and he represents where we're from to the fullest all the time, nonstop. You know, what I mean, and to see that grow, knowing him as a childhood friend and watch the progress, that shit leaves a warm feeling in your heart to be like, yo, that's that's my fucking dog. And I've watched this shit grow. I've purchased shit. I got hats at home from the very beginning. You know what I mean? That shit is just an awesome feeling. So shout out to, to Francis London, Ugly Duckling. Yeah. Uh, go so, get their jackets. Them shit is fucking... That's why I'm trying to get us for the winter time. That's why I want to dance <laughs> the fuck out. It's like, like, I don't know, man. Like, if people that's thinking starting a podcast show... It's a fucking one in a million chance that you fucking blow. It is. It really is. 
More than likely, you're not. It, yeah, man. Listen, it's a Period. lot of pe- it's a lot of people that started off a fucking podcast, came in the same time we came in. Some blew the fuck up. Some fell completely the fuck off their map. And some was like us. Is in we just steady, constantly grinding at it, hoping that we'll fucking get a break one day. Like that's the point we're at. That's the frustrating point that we're at because it's like, yo, like I, I think sometimes we get a little ahead of ourselves. Like, oh, we should be this and that. I'm like, I mean. And then I look back like, but how? We didn't do anything to obtain that shit. Me and Dre got a key to, to we think that's going to help that. But we're not going to disclose that just yeah, yet. We're disclose it. That why, give it out nah, to people. Why not? Nah, nah, Murder gonna, for hire. Yeah, yeah. We're going to wait and save this this piece too. Because if it succeeds, then people will be able to watch us grow as it happens. And then we can show them instead of tell them what we think we're going to be able to do. You know what I mean? But we got a, huh. we got a somewhat solution to help. Where we at right now? Yeah, I just I mean, mean, like like I think we just missed what Kev tried to do. Kev tried to get us both off the show so he could be on here by himself. And uh, yeah, yeah, you heard that, yeah, right? Yep, yeah. you're fucking right. Yeah, if y'all did, why not? He said, if, why I mean, not if y'all want to be and Mike, and y'all get yeah, the fuck yeah, up well, out of you're here. Right. You're fucking right. If y'all want to fucking be like, hey, yo, you can't be down here with three cameras or just be talking, <laughs> <and> switching. <laughs> I want to be, talk- <laughs> be talking to cameras. <laughs> nah, it wouldn't be that no more. I, I go. I think I would. If I was back on this, show, from the cell. Home, I think I missed the end. Nothing. I missed it. No, I missed the, the interviews. Rants, though I missed the interviews. I, it doesn't. And I. And that's why I probably want to go back because I missed the fucking interviews. I think people miss the rants too. Not nobody misses them. Man, shit, there was man. conversations being brought up during them Jones, and people was commenting. You was going I back just, and forth. I, I I'm probably gonna bring back some version of that, but I think I'm gonna probably tap into the fucking interview side because a lot of people, a lot of missed interviews that that we could took advantage of. That like that was a stage in our life is was interviews, but it's like we couldn't do them because we was like delegated to fucking Sunday. They were me personally. I would stay up. Monday through, I was available Monday through Sunday, you know, during the week at a certain time. It was like, y'all got an hour of my time to give you from, you know, from seven to eight or eight to nine after that. Like, I, I it's nothing else I can do to help you with this shit. Like, you know, I'm giving you an opportunity to pick Saturday, whatever time, and Sunday, whatever time. But, you know, work with me. <laughs> work with me. That's all I want you to do. So, I, I mean, we, like I said, we have something that maybe help, that'll maybe help alleviate. Uh, that scenario, but we'll no, I'm, I, I, like, 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 right, like, right now, I'm thinking about like, like you said, you said paying people, like, people don't know you can pay people to fucking on podcast to clip your shit up because clips goes a long way, and like, it kills me nowadays. And I'm gonna say, because we talk about this off air, is like, motherfuckers that I know will share a clip of somebody saying some shit that we got the same clip saying the same fucking shit. The motherfuckers won't, sh- I don't give a fuck, motherfuckers won't say, like, I said the same shit he said. You watch the same fucking clip I just did. Yeah, but it's not as visually appeasing. Man, you suck, mom. See, there it is. The <laughs> unappeasement. <Yo>. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, there's a and that and <laughs> and that's the difference man, between appease this piece, man. See, see, just because you do a podcast for a long time does not make you a professional podcaster. Dre said last night to me, "You can be a bowler. You can like to bowl. You can go to a bowling alley. You can even play on a team." But that doesn't make you a fucking professional bowler. You yeah, know what you I mean? Said that to me too. There's a reason why they're professional oh, I bowlers. I thought it was fresh. Oh <laughs> damn! You know, cap me, boy. You been practicing nah, that. that was that was you fresh. Been practicing that 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 the bowler, the bowler, the I'm bowler. Was this fresh. On dash, but, but I'm a perfect this with Kev. Nah, this the bowler, nah, the bowler this shit was no. fresh. Nah, but 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 some real shit. The basketball I used with him. Basketball. But 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 that's but that's real shit. We've been doing this shit for almost five years. I mean, I've seen the progression. We've all seen the progression. We've we've started from the bottom. Uh, I mean, we don't have a professional setup, but we're making our way there, and we're making the best of what we got. I mean, compared to what we had before, it almost looks like a studio down here. You know what I mean? But it's also just life down here. It's not just the studio. So we're so we need to separate that, and we need to for we need the podcast to have a home of its own. You know what I mean? And, that doesn't that involves all of us leaving where we reside at and and going to work somewhere else. It's like a like a home office, a headquarters. But that's what that's what <clears throat> that's what niggas on this is the next part niggas on the saying that's a financial burden because the pay for that, the finances for that is not coming from this. It's not 
to go do something like that you love and you that passionate about and you see that's like a rapper never selling anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I mean, he's made a he little just, bit of money, but nothing he never he would never make no money off his like. How long would you do mixtapes knowing you never make money off a fucking mixtape? Oh, Today's uh, bad. It's 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 a lot of people. It's a lot of people that did that. But so let, let's let's make sure we 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 take what we're saying and giving people value to, to the to the guys who want to start podcasts as well. When it comes to the financial burden, it's on you. It's on you, right? If you start a podcast, the financial burden is on you. You got to figure out another way to make money because most likely the podcast isn't going to make you any money um, by itself. <clears throat> so what I also believe in podcasting is that you cannot stay still. You can if 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 you choose to, if you just want to get your message out, then by all means, stay where you're at. Talk on the mic, get your message out, go about your life. But if you want to grow, which I suggest you want to do, then that's where spending a little bit more money, figuring out different ways to do things comes into play. You know what I'm saying? Um, finding a, a home if you want to you know, invest in yourself. and Because that's what it's all about. It's actually about investing in yourself. And it's going to have to come out your pocket just like you would do anything else. You're going to have to come up with the bread to get that done. That's how I feel. And that's what, to me, understand what you want, which I got to put this in, on, in writing so that the people that I um, consult with, they will actually understand the difference between the two. You can get your message out. We can set you up for that. Or we can have you on your way to a production, you know what I'm saying, where your podcast is on another level. And maybe we can figure out a way for you to reach more people. But what, what, y'all go ahead. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Would that be more? Because it's two different things. Some people that doing a. It's some people that want to do just a straight audio podcast. Sure. You, you can record that in your house. Easy. But you're gonna. But you're gonna come out the ass with the right equipment and everything. Yes. Now what you're talking about is you want to do. Of, you want to have visuals to your podcast, which we want to have. We want to have visuals. We, you know, what I'm saying we want to. We would have to go get these cameras that we got, which are fucking expensive cameras. These cameras that I got right now that we've got facing over fucking cameras. It's fucking. It's, it's almost like I said, they're three hundred dollars a fucking piece. Almost four hundred dollars a fucking piece. I'm about to say yeah, I paid, yeah, I paid twelve hundred dollars for three cameras. Mm-hmm. But these yeah. is fucking stream. These are streaming cameras. I can take these fucking cameras anywhere. I can go set up anywhere at any joint, connect to my phone and stream fucking live and go live. Have my audio set up, running through these cameras and everything. It is very. It takes very minimal work. It don't even take. It don't even require a laptop with these cameras. These cameras do everything pretty much on their own. They're streaming cameras, but they're not the right cameras if you want to do a real podcast. You got to have real like uh, real camcorders like. Shit that's you know real lighting, real background, all that shit. Like if you want to be visually aesthetic, a Sony A7, some, a Sony yeah. A7 will do. You gotta have some. You gotta you gotta have some. You know what I mean? Your your gear got to be right. Your clothes got to be right. Your sneakers got to be right. Everything. Your cut got to oh, yeah. be fly. Oh yeah, you, you, you don't just care. Who me? Yeah, I don't. Right? Yeah, I yo, don't. yo, you gotta, yo, bro. Because we talking business and we talk. Roll with the punches, man. Come on, man. Start laughing and shit. I'm not like, laughing because I'm trying to get some people some fucking game right now. I can oh, see yeah. if I, I can see if this was a funny yeah, podcast. Man, you fucked. This I said, up. Yeah, I can see this is a funny <laughs> podcast, but it's not. It's not. My bad, bro. My bad. It's My cool. Bad. They do it. I they do it all. They, they do it all the time. It's never. It's nothing. Hey, yo. Fuckers, Word. nothing new. Hey, yo, fucker, it's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing new. So yeah, this, yeah. This, hey, this, is a, this is another fucking thing you gotta go through the podcast, figuring out this shit. Like we used to talk over top of each other so bad. Read the room, Dre. Nah, he's cool. We don't read the room. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, yo. Go ahead. Yeah. Back to what I was saying. No, but I'm saying all, all, all jokes aside, though. But like, um, you gotta figure out what you want to do in your fucking podcast. If you're doing an audio podcast, these mics that we got right here, this setup, this roadcaster, these roadcaster mics and everything like that. That's all you need. Dre camera. That that's all you need. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But it's one thing we lack that we don't do. You gotta go. Play, you gotta play on social media, man. You gotta play. And I would say, 
what we did as backwards with starting this podcast. I think if we would have built a social media following with just our phones and having fun with it, talking, making jokes and memes and all that shit, and like built our audience with a shit like through that way, and then say, hey, you know what? Y'all like what we be posting? We're gonna start a podcast. People would have probably like, all right, cool. You you already came with a hundred thousand strong. They starting a the podcast. Let me, I'm going to follow them there. So if you're trying to start a podcast and you're ready thinking about starting a podcast, yo, social media is a, is a big game and that we don't play. And I hate fucking social media, dog. And Dre, that's what Dre's biggest frustration with us is because we hate social media. Yeah, we grew up in a different era. So yeah, when I get on social media, it's just to laugh at the stupidity for the most part. And that's why we're not growing. That, that's the main reason why we, we're stagnant because... One of the reasons. It's one of the reasons. Like, I think audio-wise, we're good. I think reading the cues in the room, we're still working on. Dre. <laughs> <laughs> I felt it coming. I um, felt it coming. Um, oh, um, uh, f- producing it wise, getting it out time in timely fashion and on a consistent basis, which are the key things we're good at. I think our biggest hurdle is right now is promotion and social media. I think if we played on there really hard, as hard as we play in the other areas, you know what I mean? We're not going unless listen, people, you're not going to go, Oh man, I went from 10 listeners to a million listeners overnight. It don't, I mean, it's rare. That is fucking rare. If you do the fucking math on that, you read this, you read the studies for that shit is rare. People that do a hundred thousand, and plays yo it is a fucking it is a members only room up there it's yeah. the rogans it's, it's, it's the buttons is the norries like ain't even gillian them they not like if you it's yeah, not even is up there it's they're up there you gotta yeah. go re, if uh, spotify about? spotify yeah, has it spotify somebody spotify has the numbers you they show you who who's in that in that rare air numbers is making them numbers. Is is a, is a you know is very very yeah, small. It's them. I mean, yeah, it's very it's slim. Definitely them. You know, what I mean, it's dumb. You know, and I, I ain't yeah. saying nothing against everybody else. You know, but uh, every, you know, some people that started podcasts is not even podcasting no more. There's a lot of people that were famous people that said I'm gonna do a podcast. They thought because they have a couple of their homies on that were famous that it would do something. Uh. Kevin Hart did a whole, but he just like he figured out podcast wasn't for him. But he started a podcast, but he switched it over to a TV show, which does better for him. You know who did really, really well and changed the game kind of more recently? Who? 85 South Show. Motherfuckers were number one on Netflix with the with a podcast. That 85 South Show is pretty much a podcast, a live podcast. That yeah. shit is a big deal. A big deal. And that, I think that's more of a comedy special. Yeah, but right, but it's, like that. You, it's but it's to help their brand. They put all of their shit. They turn. They have a podcast. They put all their shit onto a website. You have to actually subscribe to their website. I think you got to pay or get the app or whatever the case may be. And then uh, you like <laughs> you like <laughs> with Smokey sitting in the pigeon coop over here. That brings, that brings <laughs> it me just to a point though. That brings me to a point. Think big. Think big, bro. Sure. If you're going, if you're going to do something, that's because you know what. I mean, let me have a candid moment, right now. The we have nothing to do with this particular podcast at all. We have nothing to do with it. I'm about to explain. So Gillian Wallow started started a little bit after us, and I was telling Kev this last night. I said it should piss. We I love we we love Gillian Wallow though. Like this is a whole nother thing. But I said it should piss us off to watch Wallow cop a fucking Lamborghini right now. It should piss us off to have started right before them and to be nowhere. And even though they they are a different podcast, they're different. They have a whole different dynamic altogether. But to to still be in these stages and watching niggas cop a Lamborghini off of what they doing. It's not in a bad way where you like, man, fuck them. It's more like, damn, all right, we got to get on our shit because it's clearly ways to make life better in this realm. But, <clears throat> but if you continue to think small, 
then you're going to get small back. If you think big, even if you shoot for the stars, you know what I'm saying? Or what they say, shoot for the moon, you'll still be among the stars. If you shoot to do some to do some bigger shit, no matter what, you're going you know, you're going to get to something. So I said this to Kev. Uh, uh, piss us off. It should piss us off. No, I you said that to Kev. I wasn't privy to the conversation last night. So I mean we, no, we understand. I, I, I hold on, I, I'm just trying to tiny real quick. So we, we, understand, we understand, hold on, we understand that. I understand all of that. I'm the one who breaks all that type of stuff down. I know that it, different things come with different caveats. So I, I know that, but what my point is to not be, to feel like you have hit that ceiling years ago and you still vibrating on that ceiling and not moving past it. So it's not necessarily about what they're doing. It's just to look back and say, okay, what can we do to change you know what I mean? To to change the trajectory of what we're trying to do. So that's that's what I'm referring In an inspirational to. way. Like correct. Like angry, insp- but, but I, like said, I wasn't part of that conversation. Up. So I bring my own topic, my own thought process to that. Go ahead, Kev. You be thinking. What? Uh no, no, I was just <laughs> I was just <laughs> I was yeah. just agreeing with Dre saying that it's more of an inspirational, like, like you should be mad, like, damn, yo, we gotta get there. That needs to be us. We got to figure that part out. How can we get to that point? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And not in like a jealous type of way. Like yeah. they don't deserve we it because they 100% it. deserve it. Especially with Walla doing a dub coming home and just he gives a lot of game out and he does it with love, yo. Inspiration. Just trying to keep people and, and bringing his people to a right sense of mind. You know what I mean? Just from his experiences. And that shit is heavily inspirational. You know, what I mean, you, with with him from what he said from the beginning all the way to him getting the Lambo. You know, what I mean, it's 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 like, yo, we know that if if it could happen with them, regardless of if they have a following or not, they're showing you the way on how to do it in a sense. You know, what I mean, and you don't have to follow their blueprint to the T, but there's pivotal points in there that need to be done, and that's mm-hmm. what we're trying to do now is figure out how to get to those points to open up these certain doors. Okay, Kev. All right. Um, speaking on that shit, I was in the part of that conversation last night, and I can't I can't look at what another nigga have and be upset, mad, or whatever. You missed you missed everything got, we just said. Can you, God, yo, yeah. can I... Can one second on this fucking podcast, one time, when I start talking... That I ain't interrupted or at least complete my fucking thought before you already make a fucking assumption about how I'm going to finish this shit or how I'm going to end this shit. How about you like, yo, let me get this nigga a chance, see what he's talking about. Then when he gets to this end, then I'll make my assumption about the nigga. Yeah, Trey, how about you shut the God, fuck up? God damn, it's like, My yo. bad. My bad. <laughs> God. Nah, it's Cam going to start muting your mic when he talks. <laughs> probably. Probably. <laughs> probably. My bad. Okay. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Rewind. All right, me, Wallow, bum bum. He he. They got Lambo. They started the same time. Reason I can't, I'm not looking at his shit or what he's doing. His success. I'm like, you know what? So y'all said it right. He deserved it. This nigga grind. He put a hundred percent in, and it's right with Tiny said. Yeah, the nigga came home with the following, and he got a famous cousin. But his only reason his famous cousin fuck with him on that type of time with business time. Wallow put the motherfucking the work in on the streets. So I'm not mad. I can't look at what that nigga do. I can't. You got it. I gotta look at myself where I'm fucking my shortcomings is at. And where I'm fucking up on my podcast at. And where I'm fucking up on my podcast at. And why my podcast ain't blowing in all these years. For one, going back to the beginning of this bitch, like we didn't have a clear <laughs> cut direction where we was going. This was just something at the point with something fun to do. It was something fun to do. We just something to get away. We like talking. What? Stop hitting the table. Oh, it was something fun to do. It was something fun for us to have fun when we 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 was boys. We got up. We got to talk about this shit. We didn't, you know, we we started doing it. We we were just all over the place sporadic. We didn't have a plan. We didn't come at this shit looking like it's a business. It was just something fun to do. It was fun. Doing this podcast is fun. Now we get three, four years in later. It's like now niggas want to be serious with the shit. If I was serious from the beginning, 
let me be real with y'all people out there. I wouldn't have probably named the podcast the opinionated podcast because I would have fucking did my research and realized there's 50 other fucking opinionated podcasts out there. I gotta make I gotta go research a fucking name that nobody fucking heard of before. So I'm searchable. That's one. Then my artwork. Yo, y'all might like this artwork, but it's yo, it's not something that'll stop a motherfucker when he's scrolling through Spotify to stop when he's looking for a new podcast. You you'll ride right past it. It's fucking generic as fuck. You're welcome, by the way. Out of dip. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh wait. Oh, I definitely fucked up. Let me uh, let me mute up. Let me mute up. Let me mute up. I I wouldn't even pick the the, the background because I changed the name and it'd been a different picture to get people to fucking stop. Three. I would have built my social media following. I would have did all this shit. And on and before I even started my podcast, I would have talked to somebody who did a fucking podcast. I had we had none of this shit. We had none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Wallow is cool because Wallow just had the grind enough to go on social media, build his following up, and he had a famous cousin that said, "Cuz I see you what you doing in the streets. I'm going to fuck with you." And this cousin said, I've been talking to people about how to do this podcast thing and how to get it started. Don't worry about I'm going to get everything we need to start this podcast. And they did it the right fucking way. And they're fucking famous. We're fucking three dudes from fucking living in the Sickleville, Winslow area. Nobody knows about us. Like, it's crazy. Niggas, what I thought was the achievement at one point in time, we was popping in fucking India, going crazy, doing crazy in fucking India. I don't know. If, I don't even can't speak Indian. But at one point in time, I was going crazy in India. Africa was fucking with us. Australia was fucking with us. Nobody in Sickleville was fucking with us. Nobody in Philly was fucking with us. California was fucking with us. Alaska, South America, England. Like, we did every, like, we, why I don't get mad at these other niggas' success? Because we did shit ass backwards. If it was up to me, real shit, and we had this conversation, I'll probably scrap this, scrap these 100 episodes, change the fucking name. We ain't got no fucking following. We only got 20 people listening, fucking dead the whole shit. Come up with a fucking clear cut plan. Build the fucking social media up the right fucking way. Just start over from scratch if if it was up to me. What's stopping you from doing it? What's stopping me because it's, yo, we, we already talked about this. We already had this whole fucking conversation. We had this whole conversation about changing the name, and all this other shit, niggas was, half the niggas was on board. Some niggas on board, some niggas wasn't. Niggas was like, ask like you that you ask me right now these uh these questions, these devil advocate questions and shit like that. Is like, yo, I don't fuck all that. The reason why, like, we fucked the first one up. We fucked it up. We really fucked it up, and we trying to fucking revive a dead horse. We going live again. We should have never stopped going live. We stopped going live because we was like, all oh, the people on live, they just watching the live. They're not going to the podcast. They never went to the podcast. The the They never went to the YouTube page, the Spotify page to fucking begin with. Who gives a fuck? It's, you know what I'm saying? Who gives a fuck? They never went to it anyway. Who cares? I go live. Why I go live? Because you know what? Eventually, I'm going to fucking blow. And when I'm, and I'm always going live. Guess what these motherfuckers going to do when they see me blow? They ain't gonna say they was fucking with me from the beginning. And then they're gonna say, I know this nigga. Then they're gonna share my shit. I already got a rapport with him, and I'm cool with that. You've been fucking with me on the live shit from the beginning. And I like the niggas that been fucking with me like that, I respect that shit. <clears throat> niggas been fucking with me day one, playing this shit. I respect that shit. You know what I'm saying? I respect everybody that fuck with us, man. It's just a hard thing, man. Like, like I really like as sometimes I really want to blow this shit up and just start all over again. I mean, I understand being a person from the outside looking in. Uh, not giving a fuck about what somebody else got to say. You don't know this motherfucker what type of influence they got on you. You know what I mean? We, we, uh, <laughs> we, that you know. we really just <laughs> are here expressing ourselves. You know what I mean? We really just expressing ourselves. And I know listening to other podcasts, how many podcasts I've skipped over because it's like, uh, I don't want to listen to that. I don't want to listen to that. I don't know if they're interesting or not. You know what I mean? It's just, you like what you know, what you're familiar with. 
Now, if now if one of my boys hit me up and told me they got a podcast, I'm going to more than likely listen to it because I know you on a personal level. You know, what I mean, I'm going to check you out at some point, see what you got to offer me. Me being a podcaster, I'm probably going to listen. I'm probably going to see, you know, what I mean, and I'm a critique, whether it's shortcomings of us or shortcomings of you or, you know, what I mean, how what I like, what I don't like. You know what I mean? That's and that's just how it'll be. But with me knowing you, I'm going to listen to you more than I would some random person. Correct. And that's and that's just because of you know the uh, familiar. I can never say shit. Familiar. Familiar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there you go. Oh, Kev got me on that one. No, he definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> Familiarities, but but when it comes to just being randoms, because that's what we are, with the exception to the people who actually know us. That's what it is. It's something else that you have to be able to bring to the table to help elevate this podcast. I mean, you have to have some type of credibility. You have to have some type of following. You have to have some type of training, some type of 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 schooling, a network, and some type of high society. You know, some, some and and we exactly a network for sure. I mean, people who are up in the higher ups know other people. You know what I mean? So it's more that they could bring to the table. And that's what we're figuring out as we're traveling through this journey, which led to other journeys. You know what I mean? So we're venturing on to, to new things while we're doing this at the same time. Hopefully people will be able to get to see the growth while we're doing it. Get Kevin on the on the on the situation. It was hard to hard to get. You got to show Kev first, and then he'll be like, it's "All not, right, fuck it." <laughs> it's, not, it's not so much you got to show me, dog. I'm. No, you got to show a, you. It's I'm type this type of nigga I am, which y'all don't fucking get. Yeah, like got a nigga you were educated. No, as y'all show me what the fuck y'all say we gonna do something, we do something. And I'm gonna try to go as hard as I can. But when I see niggas not doing it no more, it's like y'all, what the fuck are y'all telling me for? Why y'all telling me to do something that y'all not even doing? Why y'all giving me suggestions and ideas y'all want to do that y'all not even fucking doing? Showing you. If, no, it's if, not showing me. Like I understand why Drake, I understand why Drake got mad, like why Dre is in the position. Like he kept trying to show us. I'll be I will feel just how he feel right now, too. It's like even like how the fuck, how much much more can he fucking tell us, yo, y'all niggas gotta do this. Your niggas. I'm gonna just do it. No, I think we all were saying the same shit to each other. I mean, we were all saying different shit, and nobody was. I think niggas should have just taken advantage of some of the shit that was being said, and then it would come back around like, "Yo, maybe we need to do this," and somebody look up and be like, "Nigga, I said that shit already." But that's the thing. Why won't niggas? But why won't niggas? We if we all had different points that we thought different things needed to be focused on this fucking podcast instead of asking everybody in the group to do it. Why niggas wouldn't just take it upon like Dre took it upon himself to do it himself? You know what I'm saying? It's, we it's all niggas, like Dre said, it but was, that's it the wasn't. Thing. There were there was a problem with prioritizing things to make them as important as your daily regular shit, like going to work and brushing your teeth and taking a shower. There was shit that you know, I'm people saying. people just weren't used to doing because you already have a daily routine. And it was hard for you to put that into your daily routine, like using social media. How hard is it to actually push share on something? It's not hard at all. But to actually take the time to think about it while you're doing a million other things, you being a father, you work in 10 hours a day, you come at home, you might have to cook, you might have to clean, you might, you fucking fix your house up, nigga. You you you're 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 you say your idea of exercising is you go outside and you become a fucking lumberjack. And you wow. clear out the trees in the neighborhood. <laughs> okay. So, but, you do but, but I'm trying to. But what I'm trying to say to you is, is that there are things that have importance in your heart, and it travels to your mind. And then when you get back to doing your just regular shit, you're tired. You know what I mean? You don't think about the things that you want to make important because your daily routine already has so much importance involved. Let me speak. You know what I mean? I'm going to speak to you about that shit. Y'all see me do that shit yesterday. Clearing out my trees and shit like that. The shit was... <laughs> that, was that was a compliment, it, bro. It, it no, no, listen. Yeah, but listen, listen, yeah, listen, 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 listen to what I'm about to tell y'all. 
Listen, and this is real shit. Just please listen. I'm going to get fined by the township if I don't cut my grass. The trees are threatening my house. Nobody else is going. I don't feel like I don't got the time to pay nobody else to do. I can do it myself. Dude, I did it. I didn't even. I woke up nine o'clock that morning. I knew it had to be done. I stayed out there at the 12. Mind you, I didn't eat breakfast. I didn't drink nothing. I just fucking went at that shit until it was. Comp- That's my mindset. I went at it because I was in my way and it had to be done. It had to be completed. Nobody else is going to fucking do it for me. Same thing with this podcast. Y'all niggas came, we all came to the conclusion of, yo, we're going to interview people. I waited four days for niggas to jump on this shit. I just went ham, responding to text messages, emails, calling people, getting back to people, hitting y'all up, waiting for the text message for y'all to come back through for me, to relay these messages to people, to give them, uh, give them news like, yo, I can't bring you on the podcast. They really not fucking with the message. Giving that uncomfortable news to people. Like, that was my, that's why I'm like, yo, okay, that's my part. I'm contributing to the podcast. No, I'm not on fucking social media. But I'm answering all the fucking emails for everybody. I'm checking all the, I'm responding to fucking people. I'm getting people fucking booked. I'm figuring out what the fuck they're talking about. It's like, yo, y'all, this is what y'all want. Like, all right, I don't have, I, I'm already allocating a lot of my motherfucking personal time to this shit right here. Motherfuckers want to do other shit that they want to do. All right, fucking do it. I ain't ask, I ain't, I ain't never heard y'all once. I don't think besides people we fucking personally know that we personally have conversations on a daily basis with. I don't think y'all booked one person out of that fucking comfort zone. I booked a lot of people that that I didn't... I tried to book a lot of people who shot me the fuck down, didn't respond to my email, got a crazy email back from them, and had to go do the shit all over again, get rejected all over again, or possibly feeling getting rejected all over again. That's what something I did. I'm like, all right, if I'm handling this... He want to handle this. He should handle that. I think we can fucking move in the right direction if we fucking doing that shit now. Now we're back to, that's out the picture. Now we're back to fucking just talking the relationship shit. You're right. The social media shit shouldn't be that fucking hard. It really shouldn't be that hard. The thing with social media ain't about a fucking share button. It's about originality. You really got to fucking, the post the clip, you got to sit there for an hour. It ain't five minutes. It's an hour. Yeah, it's an hour. It's an hour for me because I, I don't really know how to do that shit too well. It's an hour. I, I'm fucking... Because I've been seeing your clips and it be words. Like, I didn't say that. I said something else. That you actually got to go into that shit. And when they, you know, when they close caps, you got to go type the real word in. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a pause in here. You got to edit that pause the fuck out. You got to zoom in here. You got to <laughs> go this app, clip this together. Now you gotta rewatch it, make sure you leave nothing out. Then you gotta post it. That's that's being original with this shit. Like I said, we just we on fucking threads right now. I don't even know how that shit worked, but it's fucking brand new, and everybody's on there, and everybody's posting on that motherfucker. I'm just saying anything to our on this motherfucker. See what what do I do to get a fucking bite on this bitch? To make my shit make me a popular thread that motherfuckers want to talk to me on. Because he says social media is a fucking part of this shit. All right. I told y'all we on threads. I don't expect y'all to get the fuck on there. I just seen it with something new. I'm getting on there. I was slow to TikTok. My daughter told me to go to TikTok. If I had to fucking listen to her, when she told me to go to TikTok, maybe our podcast would be a lot further ahead than we are. So I said, fuck it. This shit just came out. I got to do it. And if Drake can't get me the clips to make the clips up and I need clips for this fucking thread shit, then I guess I got to make the clips for myself and go to fuck and, and do it myself. I'm not bitching about this shit no more. I'm, I'm not. And I'm glad I think Dre did it the right way. He just said, I'm just, I'm just going to listen because this nigga's been the driving force. He's been the driving force for this podcast. I'm going to tell you straight up, Dre, you've been the driving force for this podcast. Nigga, you took a week off from the fucking podcast. This shit didn't do, we didn't do shit that week. Me and Kev both then took time off of this podcast, and this podcast kept going without a hitch. I don't know how to break the audio down. Once I figure that out, then it's like, all right, I can do everything else. I, if you so, got time this week, we could we could we could talk about I don't, it. I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I got time this week. You can show me how to do that shit. I'll learn that shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna learn it. Cause the day one of y'all niggas come to me and say, yeah, I just wanna, I'm like, cool. 
I know I can. I love doing this shit. I just love being in front of the camera. I love talking to people. I think I got a message. That's my gift. That's my gift that I was blessed from God. I just figured out that Ooh, is my gift. Talking. Now we talking that's, now. Yeah. Now we that's talking. My gift yeah, that's my, my gift blessed from God. I can talk. I can talk. Mm, talk you like you walk it. I can talk. I talk. I, it's fucked up what I'm going to say. Yeah, I talk. I talk people out of money. I talk bitches and they have you sex fuck, with you, me. You fucked it up, bro. Uh, no, listen, but listen to me. Listen, oh, listen, yeah. listen. I didn't talk people out. I didn't talk people out of helping people out of situations. I don't talk to motherfuckers who was in low lives in their life. That's my gift. That was been my gift. Hey, you, 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 when God gives you a gift, people do use it in a fucked up way at the beginning. Let's not get it wrong. God gave motherfuckers gifts of basket, gave gifts of niggas playing pool, and niggas went and hustled niggas on pool tables. Instead of instead of niggas went and hustled people on pool tables, instead of taking that gift and making some money from the old, they took money using that gift. Niggas was a gift of that basketball. Hey man, play twenty dollars on the game, bust a nigga ass, and realize and, and fuck their gift up. Their gift was probably to go to the NBA. So yeah, my gift is talking. My gift is having this conversation. My gift is making people laugh. That's my gift. I can have an in-depth conversation with you, or I can make, or I can have a funny one with you. That's my gift. That's why I like doing this podcast. That's why I feel it so much. Like, I ain't in it so much for, you know, I do want to make financial gains off this shit, but I, I'm, I'm, I do pretty good for myself right now. <clears throat> I just want to do because I want to do it because I love it. I think I belong here. I, I see myself. I don't give a fuck. I see myself eventually going on other bigger podcasts, bigger than mine, and sitting on there having a conversation about where my pod. I dream that shit every day. It's been a dream since I started that podcast that somebody's going to say, going to call us on there. How did you come up with the opinion of the podcast? And I'm going to run my story down to him. We Just like I did this episode. <laughs> that's wow. the first thing. You go. We fucked up a lot. Oh, yeah, we okay? fucked up a lot. <laughs> that's the first thing, that's the oh, first thing that'll be said. We fucked they up for like you, they four, down, years. <laughs> four years. No, four years. Four years of learning. You know, I, I, I mean, there there is there is an algorithm to this shit, and I'm sh I'm sure there's more than one way to to find your way fishing through this damn pond, but it's it's a fucking grind, and you gotta love doing this shit. You know. I think you really need a headquarters, you know, where somewhere you can base the podcast to be home because when you're at home, you just feel at home. So when you got to do shit, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's real work. Like when we're here, this doesn't, this doesn't work for us. You know what I mean? But when we leave and, and Dre has to go and edit some shit or Kev has to go edit some shit, you just home, you just doing the shit by yourself. That's when it, when it becomes a job. You know what I mean? Even when you like what you do, you're not in the essence of of how you are on that Sunday between 12 and 5 o'clock when motherfuckers is working and gelling and vibing and getting everything done in a group of what we are, the trio. <clears throat> so I think that 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 headquarters is going to fucking change a lot of shit. Dre about to make like 10 headquarters. On the low. Uh, <laughs> that's what I say, man. Y'all to make like 10 headquarters yeah, on the low. If, I, that's why I said I don't hold nobody from back from doing their dreams and shit. Like me personally, I feel I know y'all feel the headquarters, and it's cool. I would love to have that shit. Yeah, yeah. We're not saying uh, we're depending but, on that's listen, uh, there's different ventures. I would love to I would love to make I would make take. I would love to make the aesthetics of this shit a lot better. If that was it being that, yeah, all of that's just gonna come along. Yeah, yeah, I love to have that. Don't worry, it's a game but, plan already in motion. But personally, me, like, I just, I think, I think we can grow this shit, and I think make making motherfuckers pushing motherfuckers off the. You pushed me off the edge, Drake. You pushed me to the edge, and you made me step. Just find me an edge. Oh, never you mind. already did it. You already did it. Now let's see if you're gonna fly. I, I don't. You already did it. I'm gonna learn everything. And we'll f if I fail and whatever, I, you push me to the edge. You know what I'm saying? You, I say, you know what? Fuck it. I'll take you. That's what you want me to do? All right, cool. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, y'all don't want to fail my homies, but I do want to keep doing this shit. But I think uh, I want y'all to come along for the ride with me for this shit. But it's like, yo, I'm going to be real. Like, this shit right now, I probably, probably ain't going to make no money off this shit. If y'all got a different business venture right now, go pursue that shit. And if this gets in your way, I'm going to keep doing this shit. Come back to me. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't want, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. You got a business venture, go do your business venture. I'm not, right now, I ain't looking for a business venture right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking to get this podcast off the ground. And pot, doing getting this podcast off the ground requires a different, it really does. It requires a different mentality. It requires to get in the shows better produced. It requires getting on social media a little bit more. It just requires tightening a lot of shit up, man. And right now, like, you know, that's what I'm focused on. I'm focusing on right now, I'll be real. I'm focusing only on the audio right now. That's my main goal. That is my main focus right now. I'm focusing on audio. That's the only thing I can, that's the only thing I got enough light of time for myself that I can do everything that needs to be done for a podcast and, and still focus and still have a life. It's the audio. I can't do the YouTube. You know, the social media shit, I'm not going to probably do it all crazy. The social media might just be always me pushing me on Spotify or me pushing us and we on here or or 20 second clip of, of the podcast. And, 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 and at the end, you know, find us here on Spotify. That's probably my fucking goal. That's be it. I'm just going to focus on that shit. And once hire I build that shit up. Hire a social media manager. I, I probably will. If, no, if, I got, if I got the money, no, I'm probably going to. That's the answer to that. I, I probably will. I, yeah. Dude, I got the money for it. I got the finances for it. I can't. I'm not going to keep asking y'all for money. Awesome on us. <laughs> I'm not flossing on y'all motherfuckers. You got to understand. To get that money, I just seen my man. My man, shout out to my man, Marlon Reed, who always listens to the podcast. Yeah, my man, out. Marlon, he's, he's in the process. He did a film. He's in the process of doing another film. He did a couple more short films and some commercial and everything else. He said it straight. He said, Kev. He said to me, yo, bro, I'm about to probably be, I'm going to have to ask these mm-hmm. niggas for more work because we make enough money. I need to get these hours because I need to put this money into this. He he, he then took the money. He worked hard for him. Um, MRP, Marlon Reproduction, he made, he got a water. He bought water. He distributes waters now. He got a couple of spots in the hood in local uh, shops around the way that he, you know, he, he pushed his water to and they sell his water for him. Get what I'm saying? He figured it the fuck out on his own. He, I can go to work and I can grind at work and I can say, all right, I got a hundred dollars. I can pay you, nigga. Here go today's episode. I need ten good clips. Give me them shits back by the end of the week. Thank you. Cool. Boop 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 boop. That's all I got paid, motherfucker. I'll do that shit. I ain't gonna ask y'all for a dime. Y'all, you know, niggas got their own bills and shit. Like we already paying for this stream yard shit, this lips and shit. A pod mass shit we don't even use no more. It was pissing me off. They just hit us for six dollars for that shit. Yeah. Yeah, you making you making all the guys listening to this feel good. Bro, come on, man. The good No, I'm good not making y'all feel things. no no, not us. Fuck I'm talking about this, the f- No, fuck this shit. Y'all gotta hear this shit. Y'all gotta hear listen, man. It's cool to hear Michael Jack Michael Jordan won six fucking rings. But when you fucking watch the fucking last dance, you paid attention. That nigga cussed his teammates out, fought motherfuckers, argued with the manager. That was a pretty side we was not privy to seeing. <laughs> Made it you appreciate it even more. I'm hoping you listening to my story, me bitching that you of you writing down everything I said and you avoiding all my fucking pit holes. I hope that everything I said and I'm bitching, I say we fellas, we fucked up here, and we fucked up there, and we did this fucked up. You take that shit. Don't take that shit as a negative. Take that shit as a positive. Go go start a podcast right now and beat me out in three. I've been doing it for five and you're doing it for a year. And if I gave you the knowledge to be farther than I am in five years and you did it in one year time, I'm happy for you, dog. That let me know that I gave some good information, which I've been trying to do on the podcast. Give information. And you fucking listen and you follow through with it. Yeah. I ain't even mad at this shit. That's what I've been trying to do on this podcast. Give information, you'll follow. You listen to me and follow through with the shit. I'll be cool with that. Yeah. And when you're doing a podcast, That's don't clip. keep hitting the table. I'm out. We out, They'll man. Learn. We They'll gotta. Learn. Oh, that's cool. I, I know. No Paul, t- I hit the table like 20 times. Don't hit the table with the white pockets. We out of here, yo. I gotta go. Um, I'm gonna All start right. drinking. I ain't gotta <laughs> start <laughs> drinking. I want to <laughs> drink something. I need to drink. I love y'all, man. Like this is one thing I tell my brothers all the time. I love these niggas, man. And I love y'all. Yeah, and I love doing this with y'all. Stuff.